For most quick recipes, I've been measuring out half a cup and been getting great results. For longer cook times, one full cup has been doing the trick. To set up your barbecue for low and slow cooking, I like to place four to five briquettes across the outside ring of the barbecue using one cup of the competition blend hardwood pellets. Simply sprinkle them against the side of the barbecue. And you'll see if you have holes, a couple little ones might drop down. But they'll fill up all the gaps. Giving you a nice, even smoke all the way across. I lit six briquettes and placed them at the end of the charcoal snake. And you can see the Kingsford premium pellets are already smoking away. And you can see that nice thin blue smoke. Let's crack it open and take a peek. It's just put on, not much on it. A little bit of oil. Gonna see the color we get from the pellets smoking away. You can see it's starting to get some nice color from the smoke. Take a peek over at the coals and the pellets cooking away. You can see them going down the line, continuing to smoke while making the temperature very easy to control. Get the lid back on, let it keep cooking. Take a peek at this chicken. That is looking good. Easy to do at home, recreate all the steps with the same consistency every time. You can see the Kingsford briquettes slowly burned away and the last little bit of pellets are still just smoking away. For easy starting, I'm using a paraffin wax cube and the charcoal chimney. Gets these briquettes fired up. Rich and briquettes are lit and nice and hot. It's gonna let them ash over for a little bit. To make a smoke envelope or pouch, it's real easy. This is one sheet of standard aluminum foil, about one foot long. Fold up the edges. Give the sides two folds. Open it up nice and wide. Just pour the pellets in. Spread them out and flatten them down. And then just fold up the top and give it two or three folds. Take a toothpick, a fork, and just poke a few holes. And what that's gonna allow to do is the wood chips to smoke, but not combust and start on fire. Simply place them on the side of the coals for two minutes before placing your food on. After just 30 seconds, you can see the pellets are starting to smoke away. Get the lid on, I'll go get the burgers. Let's crack the lid and take a peek. Wow, those are looking great. That's awesome. And the pellets are still smoking away down there. But these burgers are ready to come off. To prep the chicken, gonna keep it very simple. It's got a little bit of vegetable oil here. Brush on a good coating. And then just gonna apply some good old salt and pepper. Just got some boneless, skinless chicken breast on the grill and half a cup of the Kingsford pellets sitting right on the cooking grate above the hot coals, smoking away. Get the lid on. This will produce a nice, great smoke flavor. It's just after a couple minutes. Woo! can see the Kingsford envelope is smoking like crazy. Already producing color on the chicken. It's gonna get the lid back on. Just wanted to show you. After smoking for 10 minutes, you can see the smoke from the pellets has pretty much stopped. They're cooked up and these chicken breasts look awesome. You can see a nice smoke color on them. Just gonna do a quick grill on each side to finish them off. After the smoke with the Kingsford pellets, Chicken is sitting about 15 degrees below its target temp. So one, two minutes on each side, give them a quick flip and they'll be ready to come off. One more flip just to finish them off. Check those out, that is gorgeous. Beautiful. Here's a piece of the smoked grilled chicken, hot off the barbecue, slice it right in half. Check it out. That is nice, juicy, 
perfect chicken. Mmm. Got that nice smoke flavor on the outside. This is gonna be good eats. Fill the charcoal basket a third of the way up. Just spread it around so you got a nice even base. Trying to fill up any little holes or gaps. Now, a good trick with these types of smokers is to set up the wood and the smoke where the air is coming in. Now, a lot of people will light them in the middle and they burn really good. But if you set up the smoker to start over here and then burn all the way across where the air source is, coming in on these types of smokers and the Kamados, they'll burn for a lot longer. Start almost in a half moon type of pattern over here where the fire is gonna start. You will get a couple little ones that fall through, not a big deal. Then just add another layer of charcoal. Take the second cup, the competition blend wood pellets or any flavors that you like. And again, just sort of half moon shape on top where we're gonna start the fire. So I'm gonna start the fire over here. The smoke will stick best also when your meat is cold and wet. So it's better to have the smoke at the beginning of a cook compared to the end. And then just top it with the rest of the charcoal. Drum is smoking away perfect at 225 degrees with a perfect for longer smoking in a Kamado, I like to start the fire close to the air intake. Simply take one cup of the Kingsford pellets, just sprinkle it on in like a half moon shape. And as the fire cooks across the firebox here, you'll see the pellets are already starting to smoke. Crack the lid and take a peek. Just got them on. Kingsford Competition Blend wood pellets down in the charcoal for added smoke flavor. Get the lid shut. Taking a peek at the chicken, you can see a nice color produced by the Kingsford Hardwood Competition Blend pellets. Another way to add smoke on any barbecue is the amazing pellet smoker. It's this little contraption here. I'll show you how to get it filled up and how to use it. Take the pellets, just fill it up. So once you have this loaded up, get everything spread out nice and evenly. And you can see there's a small hole here. We just simply take a torch and get it fired up. And once it starts, it will slowly trail down the whole pattern. So you can take this, get it lit. You can place it on any type of barbecue cooker for added smoke flavor with ease. Here's a peek at the amazing pellet smoker. Pretty much cold smoking away on a Weber barbecue. You can see, nice clean smoke. Take a peek at the pellets. Super clean burning, barely any ash. So anyone, keep your pellet grills super clean. This can be lit on one or both ends, depending on the amount of smoke you want. 